Hello, how are you? I am doing absolutely fabulous. The weather out here is lovely. I woke up this morning, so you know it's going to be a great day because I can see, I can dance, I can play, and I can laugh. Right now, I am here in Costa Bar in the Dominican Republic. Costa Bar. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. In the in the region of Puerto Plata. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're going from the United States, if you kind of if you go past Puerto Rico and you go past the Bahamas and you go past those areas, we're out here in the ocean. We're out here in the Atlantic area, more or less, on the other side of the world. It's Pacific over where California is, and we're out going past Florida. Keep on in the ocean, yes, and you'll eventually get to us. <laughs> That's why I hear it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, and I made them fresh. I made them fresh. The noni I get straight off the trees here, just right down the street. The papaya is right here, grown right here, and you just pick it. I make my own popsicles, my own juices, everything. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I've been in the health and wellness industry for a long time. Several decades. We're not gonna say how many decades, you know. I am I am a baby boon, you know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm still, I'm 35. I'm 30 again, right? You know, I kept telling that and people were like, oh, really? You're 30 again? It's like, yeah, until, until you hit 30. And it's like, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, so you mean you mean it's, it's my practice and not not just my amazing yoga ball.
Well, Forever the Caterpillar is is one of the, my first. It is actually my first published, for real, published book. I've written several before that, and a couple after, but never actually. They never actually went to the publishing printing company and got printed. It started from when I was in a situation that happened to me when I was a child, when I was in fifth grade a traumatic experience where I felt like I was just the mo- the happiest child in the world. I had fantastic parents, had wonderful support, an amazing life, and it, something happened to school. A bully type situation happened to school that changed my life forever and took me into a cocoon that I didn't even realize that I was in. And I stayed in that cocoon for several decades and till one day when I realized that that was the situation that actually put me in that cocoon and I was relieved from that situation. So I'm not going to go too much into the book to tell all the details, but as a young child, as a fifth grader, and we hear so many things about young children that are committing suicide, that are having massive depression issues, that are having massive relationship issues as they get into their young adult life and older as adults, and the world just falls apart. Some of them not even realizing that it was a particular situation that happened when they were a child. And I did not know for an entire two decades, pretty much, I did not know that that particular situation is what had me in a cocoon for all those years of my life. And so that's what the book is based on. One situation that changed my life forever and put me into a cocoon. And then one situation decades later that set me free and turned me into a butterfly that allowed me to be out of that cocoon. So it was, the book is about a young child in fifth grade (laughs) that went through a traumatic situation, a traumatic experience that sent her into the cocoon for several decades. And then a situation that took her out of that cocoon and let her forever be a butterfly. And that is where I am in my, you know, my wings, I spread and I constantly, my wings spread and fly around and absolutely amazing. So, and I say that you mentioned about the the book. And one thing I I would like to share is being able to, well, no, go ahead. I'm sorry, because I could talk forever about life experiences. The when you look at children and as a parent, having uh, someone like you and, and my, my other two beautiful children that have expounded and explored and just let free and look and embraced all the wonderful things that life has to bring is amazing. And as a parent, we want children many times, not all the time, but oftentimes we want our children to follow our path or we want them to not have anything to do with our path. We want them to be totally, totally different. And it's easy to try to instill what we want for our children. Because there are, as as you well know, there are things I wanted from you guys. I wanted you to do this and I wanted you to do that. And I wanted you to be this and I wanted you to be that. And had to come to the realization, wait a minute. No, I want you to be free. I want you to be free to be you and grasp the blessings and the gifts that are just for you. Because what is for you is not for everybody else. And what is for everybody else is not for you. And as a parent, I had to just nurture that and say, okay, even through times where it was difficult, I had to still say, You were so long ago forgiven. (laughs) I love you too. You have to realize, okay, everything can change. Life is amazing and I am not in control. I can't control, as much as I'd like to think I can control these trees, I can't control these trees. I don't know if it's something inside, if a lightning bolt is going to strike it, if a wind gush is going to come and knock it into my window. We don't know. The leaves, we can't control which direction they're going to blow. We can't control life. We, As people, we want to think that we're in control. No, we're not. We're not in control of anything. You know? So 
that's what life is all about. And I love the fact that I've been able to watch you bloom and blossom and grow and grab what's for you. Because even now we have conversations that's like, well, mom, you know, that's great for you. But, you know, and it's like, I have to say, that is so true. That is so true. Because also, it may be something great for me tomorrow. I may be like, hmm, I like what he's doing. Let me, let me grab a little bit of that. <laughs> Is that background too loud? Is that background too loud out here? Okay. Oh my God. I remember that. It was. Right. You know, it's amazing how 
it's amazing how that happens because I, I, I know you don't want me to go on about that, that time because that time that, that really, that you really saw some things. I felt the same way about you. I looked at my son on stage and it's like, I'm listening to those powerful, powerful words that I saw from a different perspective because we look at things as a parent and for parents, I want to speak to you out there. We do see th certain things as a parent because we love our children and we want so much for them. And we can see some things that we know our children cannot yet see at their young ages. At that same time, we've got to be willing to open it up and let them grow and give them their space to grow. Because if you plant a plant and you crowd those roots, that plant is not going to reach its potential and may even not only stun it, but may even begin to die. So we've got to let those roots grow and nourish those roots as much as we can without crowding them into a one little itty bitty pot, which is our own mindset. The, and so when I looked at you, I'm like, wow, look at I was talking to the fair. <laughs> this is, so that, that you you are powerful. You've always had it in you. I from the time I saw you leave that whole group, and we won't even go back to that. The time when you were what, maybe seven years old or something. No, Ariel was walking. She was like five, so you had to be maybe nine or ten. And you led that entire group, that mob of students, away from your daughter, from your sister and your brother to protect them and led them to my front door <laughs> without them even knowing it, that was powerful. So you've always had that leadership skill. And parents, you have children that, I gotta keep talking to the parents here, you have children that have those skills, but you're crowding their roots. You've got to let them grow and you've got to let them go without letting them die. And that can sometimes help just giving them that grow. And so parents, I love you guys out there. I'm glad that jpraleigh.com is here. I'm glad that the Raleigh House has been formed. I think, Mr. Raleigh, you are doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job with what you're doing with the yoga industry and the yoga world and the art of transformation. 83 days, loving it, loving it all. You're doing a much job. Parents, we look at my mother. There were times, and parents, we know this, and children. Now listen, let me talk to the young people here now. For you young people that think your parents don't know anything, yet they don't know any better, they don't know what you're going through. Okay, everybody's journey is a little bit different and they may not know exactly the emotions you're feeling. But trust me, your parents have been there. They, for the most part, they've been there. And they know, and you're gonna be just like your parent, believe it or not. You're gonna be so much like them inside. You can't get away. You can't, that's right can't get away from that DNA. I like that. You can't get away from the DNA. <laughs> it's there. And you just got, you got to, got to grow with it. My mother, I used, man, I could tell you some things that would irritate me about my mother to know. <laughs> but I'm, but I do, I grow through those things. The cooking, the cooking at home all the time and never wanted to go to a restaurant. I have made some of the absolute top notch can beat any chef in the world because of what my mother taught me. So I can't get away. Yes. Mm, much love to you, mom. So, okay. I'm going to stop talking because I've ta I'm talking, I'm talking a lot. Here.
the, with the health and wellness, the it's pretty much you can find me on Instagram at the security lady dot Instagram. It's what also TSL Total Life Wellness on Instagram. I also have a Facebook page that is TSL Total Life Wellness. TSL Total Life Wellness on Facebook. Also have a TikTok <laughs> that is the security lady on TikTok. And so you guys can, they, everybody can find me there. I have a lot of what health and wellness things as well as the security lady side, which all encompasses, is all encompassing with, secure, with health and wellness. Because if you're not keeping your mind straight to be sharp and your body to be sharp and everything working together and drinking your water, mind you, then your brain can't function properly to know when somebody's coming up behind you or when somebody's trying to attack you. So you've got to keep that mind sharp and you've got to give water to nourish that brain because your brain is mostly water. Mm -hmm.